Hello, and welcome back to Super Bonus Round. We have to go back to Traverse Town. I totally forgot all about this, but I've only played this game one, once all the way through, so... Uh... Visit this world? Whew, so... Um, well, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, we're gonna go see Neku and the gang again. I'm back in Traverse Town. I still can't believe that blew your mind when Hello, we first played this. I know, I, it did. did. But I didn't know you were world. Of, you, you played World Ends with you, so I didn't think ground, to tell you. Right? Come down so yeah, years ago. Now, now, what do you mean now? You're the one who said you were waiting. You know, you're turning more into Neku every day. But listen, I'm glad. I'm sorry, you but I just up. heard her Sora's voice. Drop. Does that mean Riku? Yeah. Here? Yes, but you I heard and it drop in certain still spots. a world apart. Yeah, it's whenever he yells, raises his voice. It's like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh! Just look at Neku. He and the others all found their game partners. Oh, they're back home safe now. Remember what I told you. Yeah, that's why their it's. Uh, I would alive. see that as being difficult for King Parts. It's like, oh, look at how Sora looks as a kid, and he sounds like a thirty-year-old. But Grant and like Reapers? in KH3, right. he Whenever looks a lot more older. Yeah, it's fine then. The but in these dream yeah. worlds, he's got his fourteen-year-old self. Like of yeah, so. And on top of that, like. Except the fact that they had, time, I guess, the at the time, which was like a 20-something year old Haley Joe Osmond voice a 14-year-old kid. Like well, this came out in 2012, and they would likely recorded it in 2011, so Haley Joel Osmond would have been doing the math in my head. Well, I'm glad 23. If he is. Yeah, so on one side of the portal, yeah, that's, on the other. that's that's a stretch. He might be by your side. He might be a million miles away. You can't you know, we get it. Parallel, parallel Traverse sounds. Even without a guy who, a guy whose balls dropped say. playing a kid whose balls haven't dropped. Don't worry. He's with you. Me. Know, like, Even when it might seem like he's not. True. Yeah. I still love that uh, Riku you shot up uh, above him in height. You and your friend are lucky too, Joshua. Like a fucking tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. Like, it's like I said in the last episode, and you were, no, you were la dying hard at hey. this. Uh, Sora's wearing clown shoes, he's still not taller than Riku. Even though, I, I know it's Mickey's shoes, because he's based off of Mickey, because they want... Yeah. Fun fact, they actually wanted to have Mickey as the main character in uh, this, but uh, Disney said no, original character. And Sora so was actually Sora. supposed to be like a... Anthropomorphic half person, half lion character, because Tetsuya Nomura loves the Lion King. So technically, Dora is the anime version of Mickey? Probably. And also, before he had a Keyblade, Sora originally had a chainsaw. I'm not joking. Tetsuya Nomura's original idea for a uh, weapon for Sora was a chainsaw. Oh. That one got me in the game right quick. <laughs> and Disney was like, no. <laughs> this is Disney, not not our. This is Disney, not Army of Darkness. You know, I just realized. What? Have you seen Go? You've seen Ghostbusters, right? The original? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you remember when Dana Barrett, you know, played by Sigourney Weaver? Mm hmm. You know, gets possessed by Zool. Yes. And then uh, Rick Moranis, his character gets possessed. And, you know, they're walking around and, like, you know, Dana is saying, um, Dana's saying, uh, I'm the gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. And Rick Moranis is walking around saying, I'm the key master. Yeah. I just realized when, when those two meet up in her... And, and like in her apartment, you know, which brings about the end of the days, you know, and Rick Moranis opens the door, 
It says, no, I'm the key master. And Dana you Barrett, or you know, Sigourney Weaver fight? says, and I'm the I gatekeeper. I realized that was right. a fucking Your sexual partner. innuendo. Well, yes, it was. Don't you want to make it out of the I, like, it took me Who's that long to hurt? realize that. Because every time I kept okay. hearing it, and the yeah. fact that, like, they I'll were hinting at it, like, earlier in the movie, even though, like, she was playing that she's not in that into you you know sort of thing and he was like the you know he was playing that oh i'm so into you but yeah, then it yeah, wasn't yeah, until the, yeah, the demons yeah, actually hey, took hey, them over and possessed them that yeah, they actually like yeah, quote unquote yeah, fell for each other because that's yeah. basically how they opened the gate so it was like okay and then i just realized that today and i looked out my window for probably a good 30 minutes thinking where has my life gone? <laughs> because I didn't know this. Because I've been I've been binge watching on Netflix the Ghostbusters movies just because it's been such a long time. That's yeah. normally what I do on First my days off. Like kind of, you know. And the second one's not that bad either. You know, I mean, it could have been better, but it but it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Um. But like the first one is an instant classic. Like, so. After watching it for like umpteen time, I saw uh, I just I got that and I was like, oh my god, where have I where's my life gone? But um, anywho, so let's see. We were, it's true. What, this man has no dick. Yeah. <laughs> um, we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. So. Um, oh yeah, I forget that that one was in that one. And that's when I, you know, and again, it's been so long that I, I was trying to remember, like, when I heard the thing, there's no something only Zor, Sora. I'm like, like, wait, that sounds so familiar. So uh, and like, and I couldn't partner. put my finger on it for the yeah. longest time. I couldn't. I was nice like, Zor, I'm like, Zor. Jesus and Christ, Shiki's waist is weird looking. He looked everywhere for you. Hey, Sora, and I kept seeing talking. it around all the time. Why? And then it wasn't until I rewatched it again, I was like, that's a good thing. Holy shit! That's where it's from! Mm hmm. That's sweet, Neku. I need you to stop annoying me. Mm -hmm. Come on, Neku, don't I be that be way. Needed. It's nice to be needed. I'm she obviously likes you, dude. Get it. Because that dream eater we're after has retreated to the other. Those two just need to fuck. Other imagining? <laughs> you mean? Like, I'm just, I'm just fucking get it over with. Yes. Now, now I'm just thinking of that. I'm pretty sure I brought this up before. The gif of Daphne jumping into Fred's arms, and he turns over, and the and the, the sunglasses slide onto him, and it says, "I'm about to get it in." <laughs> oh dear God! <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs> I think that was actually from the Johnny Bravo crossover. Yes. Oh, I think so too. Yeah, that that was but, uh, that was fucking weird. We really gonna make like I didn't think anything of it at the time. I'm like Johnny Bravo was in Scooby Doo. And you know, it's also real interesting. Johnny Bravo would not cut it in today's like demographic at all. What are you talking about? Yes, he would. You do know that he yeah. was a womanizer. He My was friend. basically yeah, right. and then it, and then every time he did it, women beat the shit out of him. Maybe it's you that's turning. But even sword then, sword it was it, it still comes off as um. Thanks. What's the word? I said, I'm so Misogynistic. Tired. Yes. Yeah. But women beat that's the, the shit out of him, which is why it was it fine. It doesn't matter though. It would still, it would still come off as like you know in a misogynistic way where it's like no no it's not all right to be showing this you know because like oh this is what a you know because you know how cartoons say they say cartoons are like impressionistic like the like the ones like for like young like young children but then again again it was a 90s cartoon there, there was a difference but like even then in today's modern demographic it would be difficult to get by yeah i remember seeing a meme that talked about regulation. that but people like people like people are like what are you talking about women beat the crap out of him every time he did uh, he said shit like that so that's why they liked it true that's that's true. why i liked it it's like okay i learned never say that shit to women because they will yeah you'll get you'll get kicked in the dick or get well in the cartoon he got he got thrown halfway across town now what now i think we both can agree i don't know if you've seen it a lot, but I know I did. 
one that would not get by is cow and chicken. That would not get by because that oh my show was way. <laughs> I'm just remembering out the carpet field. munching scene. That's what I'm talking about. Like <laughs> that was way out in left field. Like I think I that episode got banned no, too. It did. It did get banned because it's like holy shit. When I on, when I like I remember that episode clear as day. And again, as a kid, I didn't understand it. I was like, okay. But then when someone fully explained it, I was like. An all-female no, biker like, gang coming in people's houses and chewing on carpets. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, like, like, I, I like, it was one of those, like, that meme of the guy that's, like, looking down, like, like, you know, like, and he's in the middle of, like, the, the club or something. You know what's me I'm talking about? It's like an old school one. I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of the, the one of Andy Dwyer from Parks and Rec that I always use. I'm like, oh, oh no, this my was, like, god. This was like an old school meme. It's this dude standing in the middle of like a, a crowd of people at like a club, and he's looking down like he just had an epiphany. Like he's looking down at the floor like he just had an epiphany. It's like when you finally figure out something, something, something. He's like, oh, you know, like if I if I find a picture of it, I'll show you. <clears throat> but um, another good one would be the Carl Sagan one of the mind blown one. Yeah, yeah, that one too. Um, Cause that that one is it, that one is absolutely classic, right? But like, um, so that stuff wouldn't fly in this day and age. Granted, granted, it hasn't made me any less of a person. Still enjoyable as a kid, but you know, it is what it is. I got it, Riku. It's working. People threw for us. Wait, what's going on here? They're we'll hiding a they're safe. hiding a nightmare. You take care of the boss. We'll do. And it's this thing. Uh, and his name is a pun. Oh shit! This thing again. The name of that wizard bird is uh, has is a pun. You know he's. I think I'm. I think this is his name. Yeah, I'm right. He's a spellican. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You're getting boinged. Mm. Yeah, forgive us if we sound like retired. This is like 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, we let share play go on too long. I didn't. I forgot to reset it, but we're almost done here. Oh crap! I told you. Grinded. Yeah, I told you. He can't He's like, pause it either. Uh, wait, what? I can't hit him? There we go. Oh, he brings out all the bosses from the other levels. It's one of those things. Some games like to do this. You're not able to pause, are you? I am, but. Alright, you know hold on. Alright, hold on. You don't mind if I continue the fight while it starts up, right? I don't mind. All right, I, I hit, I hit start. I know it's, it's connected. All right, I'm back. What the? That didn't kill him? Yeah, we just fought these things a couple hours ago. <laughs> okay, he has to be highlighted. The fuck? Oh, I threw a shield up. Dick. Prick. Yep. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, this thing too. We just fought this thing.
But, um... Hmm. Oh, yeah, back to E3 predictions. Yeah. Um, okay, here, here's one that might that be an interesting conversation. We were talking a lot about games, but let's talk consoles. Do you think it's time for them to announce the successors to the PlayStation and Xbox yet? Do you think we'll no. at, at least hear no. something? No, because we already have the 4K systems, and the 4K systems are probably the most powerful that they have released. There, there's no way that you can even that like you can't. How I don't think so either. Surpass, how are you going to surpass the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X? You can't. You really can't. Like, yeah, and they also said they're they not interested warning. in competing with the Switch yet, so they're not going to come up with a new competitor just yet. Right, and on top of that, the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X already have one up on the on the Nintendo Switch 4K game, which is where things are going. And the fact that the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, they're not exactly like a computer setup, but they are they're significantly close and in terms of like, okay, they got a decent running capability with you know their processors. And hey Josh, where did you and they you know they are at the top of their Top of their, of you know, re we'll re respective uh, stance Wait. for 4K consoles. So he failed the mission. You know, because think about it, you basically have to invest like two grand into a computer to have like a 4K gaming computer, that would run <laughs> flawlessly. But for four hundred dollars from Sony or five hundred dollars from Microsoft, you can have a console version and it runs just as well. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. we're still a long ways away from any successor to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. There's nothing right Thanks. now that can even top that right now. Wasn't easy. Other than, a ga than an actual gaming easy. computer, that's it. Yeah. Wow, Neku, you've changed. Huh? You think? Yeah. You're less dorky. What? <laughs> Once you find your friend, Sora, you should come hang out in our town. Definitely. See you in Shibuya. Sure. It's it Shibuya. Be. Come on, man. Okay, so they're not native to Traverse Town. They actually are native to where they're from in, tw in Twewi, as Solar Tiger calls it. Nah. I'll see him soon. <laughs> You worried about Riku? Nah. <laughs> Alright, so that's why we had to go back, because we didn't lock Traverse Town. The knockout punch. Um. And then we gotta go through his Riku, and then Yeah, and then it. I think we'll call it, because I'm starting to get sleepy now, too. Yeah. Alright, so next time let's do a bonus round. One more episode in this, uh... Little uh, session of ours, and then we'll be back in a couple weeks. You guys won't notice the difference, though. Well, actually, you <laughs> will. You'll notice we're not as tired. <laughs> so, yeah. thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. See ya.